everyone what is up welcome or welcome back to my channel Jen here in the house new background living for this it's smooth it's not crinkly it's not crazy it doesn't mess everything up for me so I'm excited and let's just start so today I'm going to be using the Blendiful which I have been testing out and the baby Blendiful which clearly I have been testing out I also have my beauty blender um, I want to do a wear test and a try on for the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharge Micellular Foundation in the color L20 and the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the color Cream. So we're going to be testing these two products out um, and then we'll also be testing out this new tool. So I have been using it and I don't really prefer it for foundation, which is why I have my blender. Um, but I thought I'd do a little half and half. Um, I have done some clips of the Tati Beauty blender. Um, and so I just want to, I don't know if I'm going to use them. I don't know if I'm going to add them in here. Um, maybe I will add them in. Maybe we'll just do it here. All right, so let's get into the video. All right, so in the mornings I get ready. My foundation, I normally use a beauty blender. I use brushes for concealer and things like that. I use a mixture. Um, I use a mixture of foundation too. So I just want to show you guys kind of how this works um, with foundation. It's dirty. You can tell I used it. I'm going to use a, a mixture. Uh, I'm using a mixing plate here. This is from uh, crownbrush.com. You can use code LIFEOFGEN, all caps, for 10% off your order. That does include sales stuff. So get with the program. A uh, little bit of Jouer. A little bit of YSL. A little bit of Bare Minerals Bare Pro. And lastly but not leastly, Dior Forever. I love this foundation. I like the Jouer, um, but it's either too dark or too light, so we kind of just had to go mix on a mixing plate and make the ideal color so that we don't have a different colored face from our neck. All right, so um, I'm just gonna go in, I think I'm gonna fold this over. I did wash it yesterday, but it's a little bit stained. So we're just gonna go ahead and go in with a clean side. Stick your hand up through here. I do bend it um, and then we're gonna dab in and put it on. So yesterday I just didn't really like the way that it left my skin looking. I have really textured, oily, mature, acne prone skin uh, with extremely large pores. So it does great for the primer, but I wasn't a real fan of it with the foundation. And here's why. It doesn't cover up any of the uh, pores. And with my beauty blender, I feel like it just does a way better job, so. And then if you try swiping, it kind of wipes away the coverage. And I'm a full coverage queen. All right, so let's get the beauty blender wet and do the other side. Okay, so we're just gonna go in damp beauty blender. And you can see the coverage is so much better. My pores are not super, super accentuated. I mean, they're not going to go away. That's my face, but <laughs> I could do a little better, you know? I'm just going to go over all of it. I'm just not a fan of what it looks like with the cream foundation. You know, maybe powder foundation would look better. I am i don't know. I know it looks crazy right now, but it'll look better once we get all the bronzers and zhuzh on. It's the process. It is oh dark 30 in the morning here. Not quite, or maybe it's just after four. 
in the morning. Bow in the morning. So I'm just going to go in here and finish up. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how um, this works with powder because it's amazing with primer and powder, but I just don't like it for my foundation. Maybe I am a creature of habit. Maybe. But I just don't, I don't know, I'm just not, maybe I just need to make myself use it for a week and see how I like it after that and just maybe there's a learning curve. Maybe um, different products will work differently with it, but I feel like it picks up a lot of the product that I want left down, you know, so that's my biggest complaint with it. I'm going to go back in with my blender and max that color out. So now you've seen me use it. Okay, so this part is a mess. <clears throat> I'm going to admit it now. I do a concoction of powders. I use the Laura Mercier. I use <clears throat> the Lancome Translucent Long Time No Shine. And then I also use <clears throat> Brighten Up by Jacqueline with a little bit of Huda Beauty. And then I also go back later with just Huda Beauty and um, I do my baking. So let's go in. Oh, I'm not supposed to be using a brush. Excuse me. BRB. I must have forgotten what the fuck I was doing. Okay, we're going to go in with the Tati Beauty Blender. I'm just going to use, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use the little baby one because I haven't used it yet. I'm going to fold it and we're going to dip into that powder. I'm um, just going to kind of fix any creasing that may have occurred after putting concealer on. And we're going to pat that powder right in there with that. I like this because I can put my powder on it and go to another corner, wipe away the product that is excess and creasing, and then fold it back up and place the powder where I need it. And it looks amazing. It looks so good. So good. So let's use for the other eye, the other one. Same kind of zhuzh, go in take the creasing off of my lid because there is a lot blend bend up and put it on I feel like the little one does a better job for this so let's go back to that and yes this one's a little bit more firm it's smaller and it's got that little heart shape so the corner is way easier to get in there and just pat that powder in then we're just gonna go back to the same thing and we're then going to start doing the rest of the face. I thoroughly enjoy this for my powder products and my primer. I think it's amazing. Um, not the biggest fan of the whole foundation part but you know creature of habit and you just you know you you like the way something looks you know it's it's just a matter of preference so it's really I mean for $18 you get a big one and a little one that's cheaper than a blender okay this is 20 I got a collection of those for Christmas so I have four I should have enough to last the whole year so that's exciting um, but this one is really eco-friendly. You can wash it. I would definitely wash it after each use. That way it's dry for the next time that you want to use it. Um, so with my beauty blender, I just use it and then set it to the side. And then the next day, before I'm going to go use it, I need it wet anyway. So I just wash it right then. It's wet, it's clean, and it's ready to go for my face. So that might be an inconvenience if you're in a rush or you forget or you know whatever the case may be so maybe it won't be convenient for you but you can put it in the washing machine um, you can wash it by hand which is what I did with the beauty blender solid um, didn't get it totally clean but you can just throw it in the wash and go to work and come back and blow dry it and 
Dun 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 dun. So I just like to do a little powder around my neck and make sure everything looks nice and even. But that is what it looks like. And some people are going back and brushing it away. Uh, which is fine, but I'm gonna leave mine because I'm super oily, so I'm just gonna let that settle in and then set it with some MAC Fix Plus in just a little bit. So I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'll see you in a little while. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, but I do have a cream product um, in this blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the creams and see how that goes on. Mm. I don't know. Let's do the other side. I did a little bit, but not a lot. This is Complex Culture. This brush is amazing. I love the Complex Culture brushes um, to do anything powder that I have, contour, bronzer, you name it. I feel like the brush picks up way better than this. And this isn't really, well, maybe. It's not blending out like I like. Yeah, so it deposits color pretty good. But uh, I don't like the way that it blends out. So I don't want to wipe and like mess up my makeup. You know what I mean? So, I don't know if that's a game changer there for the blush. But I thought I'd try it. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of how it deposited the cream um, on top of there, but I blended it out as best I could. We're going to go ahead and bake. I would normally use a Real Techniques um, micro powder sponge. That's what I like to go for. Um, so we'll do this on one side. It just really lays down the powder in a nice um, even line. And then this one I feel like you kind of need to pat it on. Well, maybe not. That's good. Okay. We'll pat the excess there. A little bit down the nose. The forehead. Or in my case, a five head. Move the eyes. Down the nose. And we are baked away. So that'll help alleviate some of that really, really bright color, but Real Techniques looks more like it's left a lot and the Beauty sponge doesn't really make that sharp line I like, but it does lay down the powder really good otherwise, so we'll get what we can out of it and yeah. All right, so let's just get into this. I'm gonna start anew. I'm using the Tarte Poreless Smoothing Primer and I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna stick it in the places where I'm gonna need it the most. I really like the cover effects, um, but I just thought I'm gonna try this with a different primer. Um, I like to try foundations with different primers and then I also um, I have really been enjoying this tool to do the primer. So we're just going to get that in all nice. I actually need to go grab my hand mirror. I just realized that um, I can't get as close as I need to with my other mirror. And yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So let's just get this worked in. I really like this legitimately for the pore filling primers because I don't know if it's the material or what, but it really does fill them like way better than if you're doing it with your fingers. So I appreciate that. I can rock that. I'm just going to try to find a place to maybe put this where I don't have to hold it. Perhaps we can do that would be nice. I need to get a better mirror for my like beauty area, but the struggle is fucking real. Oh my gosh. Aren't you so glad you got to watch 20 seconds of that? All right. And a little bit more. 
I feel like all my lines and creases disappear when I use this for my primer. And it's really fabulous. So I've been thinking of doing a new style of video. I've been thinking about doing the Will I Buy It. So I've been compiling stuff. And I think I'm going to film that after this. And then I'll do check-ins all day. And add my other footage for my um, Tati Beauty Blendiful. And then I'm going to use another one. It's going to be the Laura Mercier Radiance. I did get a sample of this at Sephora in the new formula because I just want to see if it's the same as this one or not. And I think whenever I do the Radiance ones with this, you can't really see the glow. So let me show you what I mean. I'm doing this with my fingers and you can kind of see like it looks a little more fresh. And then when we do it with this one, it just looks a little flat to me. So maybe just good for the pore filling one. I think it'll be a personal preference, but that's totally up to you. Um, I've tried a couple of times to use this for my foundation per, you can see that, but I'm not a huge fan. And then I like to use this one for the powder cause it gets in right where I need it. So I'm going to show you guys that, but let's go ahead and get into the bite beauty change maker, supercharged my cellular foundation. Again, the color L20. Um, I tried some on in the store. They were fabulous. This is a perfect match. Now I will say. I wore this yesterday and I was ready to go. I got a drink of water and it dribbled down my chin and I just patted like I normally would when I get a drink of water and I've done my makeup and it sort of took it away off my chin. So I had to come in and fix it and then head out to work. So I'm going to start with a beauty blender. I forgot to bring my mixing plate. Normally I would put it on my crown brush mixing plate. Use code life of Jen in all caps to save 10% at crownbrush.com and they have brushes and they have makeup and the little mixing plate is like five dollars and it's just fabulous so i feel like samantha ravendahl um talked me into this this is kind of reminds me of the um texture of the tart um foundation that comes in like the brown tube it's sort of like a mousse and um i will say that this Definitely, um, I feel like it takes a lot. So you have to use a lot um, to get the coverage that you're looking for. So there's another full set there. And we'll just pounce this in and get the coverage that we're wanting out of it. And then I'll um, show the Blendiful one more time using it. So we can see. Okay. Okay. The other day I felt like this was a really good match and today I'm, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to go on with the Tati Beauty. Let's find a clean corner so we can be fair. I like this because it folds back so you can use both sides. Um, we're going to go in here and we're just going to kind of do the same padding motion. Get up in that hairline, try to keep it neat and clean. And then I'll move in a little bit so you can see. Um, you know, the other day, cause I did wash this when I first got it. Cause I was like, I don't want to use this without washing it. I even wash my beauty blenders before I use them when I get them. Cause people in a factory are packaging this stuff and you don't know if they wash their hands when they pee or what have you. So it's just a good idea to clean things that are going to be on your face. All right. So let's go in with some more. Now this is one fluid ounce, just like other ones. But I don't feel like it takes me that much with my other ones. Like if I use my Jouer, it takes like two pumps to do my whole face. So I don't know. I just don't like the way that this puts the foundation on my face. Maybe it's because I'm a creature of habit for the beauty blender side. It looks really nice and smooth. Um, and this, I just feel like I can't get... I just can't get the coverage that I want. I just, I don't know. Maybe I need to keep playing with it. 
I try not to swipe because I feel like that's when it doesn't get the look that I like. So I've just been doing the dang thing. So we'll just kind of blend it out. Let's look up close. Okay. Today, to be honest, I can't really tell a difference. Now, the first time, like the first video that you saw, wasn't like my favorite. It really wasn't. I just was not having it. Today looks a little bit different, so I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't think it was still damp when I used it. Um, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe that affects the application. But okay, a little bit better coverage under the eye than this one. I don't hate it. All right. Let's go in with the Hourglass Concealer. This is the Airbrush Vanish Concealer. Um, and this is the color Cream. I like to kind of wipe my hands off. Excuse me. Um, so we're gonna go in. It's got the nice doe foot applicator. It's very, very long, but I do like the handle that you hold on to, nice and square. Uh, well, I wouldn't say totally square. It's that shape, but still, nonetheless. We're just going to go in here and we're going to put that on. Maybe I did put this on my chin the other day whenever um, the foundation wiped off. So I'm not going to do that, but I normally would. We're going to, we're going to do something here with it. I am going to go in uh, with my beauty blender for this part just because I know this is a tried and true here and blend it out. I really like my um, Tarte Shape Tape for this because it fills in the texture that I have right here between my eyes, which I can say that this doesn't. I'm going to do my eyebrows, don't you worry. Um, and then let's just go in on this side and do this one, and then I guess we'll go ahead and give it a shot. I like to put the concealer on my eye to kind of use it as a sort of primer. And then we will just blend 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 yay all right let's go back with the tati and let's just find a clean spot here uh this is difficult because there's really no points you know what i mean and that's what i'm used to oh let's go ahead and blend that out this sets really really fast i'll say that really really fast i feel like i couldn't move the product around there very much we're just going to go in with a little bit more and use the Tati again. Okay, that's better. Put some on the lid like we do. And zhuzh it around. So today I'm looking and I feel like this side, eek, I don't know, this side with the Blendiful looks really, really good. So maybe my second experience has been better and I'm satisfied with that. So I'm glad I tried again. I'll say that because um, the first time you guys saw was not the business. So let's set it. Let's get the baby blender out. Now the blenders retail for $18. Um, you get the two, the large and the small. We're gonna go in with a nice amount of powder I'm just going to correct any creases real quick and then pat it out. I love the way that this applies powder. I can go in with another corner and get the creasing and stuff off of my lid and then go back with the powder again and apply that so nicely. Just, just amazing. Like, <laughs> all right, let's go one mo again i do mix powders i use the lancome uh no shine and then i also use the laura mercier and then i use a little bit of brighten up by jacqueline hill so i do use a little cocktail there of uh powders and we're just going to do this again and on we go all right I'm going to use this to do the rest of my face. I'm just going to dip it and press, and then I'm going to powder all over. 
I really, really enjoy this powder. I think it looks nice. Just like the um, primer, it just presses it in really good. Um, I just find that it looks very, very nice and not cakey. And it really just does, it's, I know people say it's a powder poof, but it's really not. It's something quite different. Um, it does come in this package right here. Do not bleach, do not dry clean. It's 100% polyester. So I like polyester. I like to wear it anyway. <laughs> All right. I'm just blending that out. So I feel like sometimes you wouldn't have to bake if you're using this blendiful to apply your powder. Um, I, I did not like it the other day for, uh-oh, would it be a video if I didn't drop something? Jesus! Okay. <sighs> um, so I wasn't a fan because it doesn't really cut out like I like to, nice and sharp on the cheeks. Um, but again, matter of personal preference. Gosh, it's got a little handle on it and I still can't keep a hold of it. Jeez, little wheeze. All right. There we go. All right, so we've got it on. This is the skin. I just have big pores, so excuse me. And yes, I just filled them, but this is the skin. This is what it looks like. And the color is really nice. Just is so flattering and I love it. So um, let's try to bake here anyway. Normally I would do my bronzer, but we're just gonna bake here for a minute and see if it works again. Unfortunately, no, not the way that I like to do it. So that time was a little better, but again, I don't have bronzer or anything on yet. So that's the dilio. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. So we're not here for an hour, which we might be anyway, who knows? Um, I'm just gonna do brows and lipstick and um, put on some mascara and I'm not really worried about eyeshadow today. I'm not going anywhere. This is just about testing out um, products and doing some check-ins. So that's what we're gonna do. Be right back. Okay, so <laughs> it's an hour later and my full face of makeup is done. I did eyeshadow, I did everything. I started to do my eyebrows because I'm gonna do my second photo for the Benefit Brow Search contest. And so I was like, well, it looks kind of funny without a full face of makeup. So. We just went ahead and went for a little bobby pin in the hair so it's not in my eyes because girl can't stand that. Let's go. Okay, so um, I have been pleasantly surprised um, by this and I think I'm just gonna continue to keep trying it out. I will say um, my chin started to do that thing again a little bit. Let's see, what time is it? It's 4.30. Oh, maybe it's been two hours. Sorry. Started this whole rendezvous about 2.30, so it's been about two hours. Um, my skin looks really good. It looks pretty flawless. Um, you can see my 11s a little bit early, but that's not a big deal. I naturally have wrinkles under my eyes. I will say this. Um, I did have to go with Q-tips underneath quite a bit because I kept getting mascara everywhere, and it was really driving me nuts. These are my lashes. These are not falsies. These are mine um yeah so so far so good i like it i'm excited about it um i think i would i'm a mixer so i like to mix foundations concealers things like that before review purposes i will not do that um so yeah so let's just check back every little while i don't know how long i'm going to keep this on i'll try to do it as long as i can um, I did wear it the other day from work, but I didn't do any follow-up. So that's why I didn't want to do that video. I just thought I would throw in those with this. And yes, I'm looking in a mirror. I'm not being crazy. I'm not crazy. No. <laughs> so I'm going to do some photos for my benefit brow search. Um, and then we're just going to get right out of here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for a little checky uppy. And thank you. 6.30. This is what it looks like. Pretty good. Took my lipstick off and getting ready to eat dinner because I'm so hungry. So no more lipstick, but hmm. 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 
Okay, the time is now 9.30 p.m. So it's been a good seven hours um, since I put the foundation on. I will say it kind of works away on my chin. So you can see how it kind of goes away. I have eaten, um, but I feel like eating shouldn't make it go away like that. Um, my forehead looks really nice. My under eyes are fabulous and I've been watching movies and crying and so I will say that the concealer is fantabulous. Um, I would however like to do some maybe some shape tape on my chin to just make sure that stays nice and covered up. Um, when I'm at work I will be tasting things and I probably will be touching my face because I'll be sweating so I need a little bit of extra coverage there. But as far as, like, it looking like my natural skin, I mean, it does really good. Really, really good. And it doesn't accentuate my 11s here, so I can thoroughly appreciate that. And I think it's a really nice color match, so I have that going for me. Um, so, I have actually grown to love the Blendiful. Um, I think with a little bit of adjustments, this foundation will be fabulous, um, and the concealer, I don't know, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm liking it just as much as my Shape Tape and um, my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I mean, no major creasing, it just stays with my skin, so it just looks like my skin, only you don't see the dark circles and stuff, so that's really nice. Um, I'm just going to keep using the Blendiful. Uh, if it works, it works. Um, maybe, you know, maybe I was just doing something different the other day. I, I don't know. I was using it in the morning. So um, this will just be a collaboration of then and now. Um, and I hope that you guys liked it. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you were the first person to comment on my last video, you'll be featured here now. Hey! Thank you so much for watching, having your notification bell on, and commenting. I appreciate you so very much. Um, and I hope that you have a very good rest of your day tomorrow and all the weeks to come. So um, do good, be good, you are good, and I'll see you next time. If you're not yet subscribed, I do upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So turn your notification bell on because I don't have a specific time. I'm not that good of a YouTuber, but I do upload on those days. So turn that bell on and it will let you know as soon as my video is live. All right. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll tell you there. All right. Have a good one. I'm out.